miniature masterpiece, Adeste Videlis, was composed by John Francis Wade, a Roman Catholic, between 1740 and 1743. The Latin lyrics were first published in 1760 in evening offices of the church, and the melody and lyrics were printed together in a London publication, an essay on the church plain chant, in 1782. One of the most popular of those Christmas hymns intended to be sung as part of a church service, it is now sung in both Protestant and Catholic churches throughout the world. Some authorities erroneously believe the carol was an old Latin piece originally danced and sung around the creche. Other authorities incorrectly attribute it to Saint Bonaventura, a Franciscan scholar who was but five years old when the pious founder of his religious order, Saint Francis of Assisi, died. In addition, some sources say that the tune was written by John Redding, another Englishman, but music research scholars dismiss this claim as inauthentic. Since the end of the 18th century, the hymn has been sung at benediction of the Mass during the Christmas season in England and France. Wade was a resident at the English College in Douai, France, where he copied, taught, and sold music in addition to providing music lessons for children. In 1852, the Reverend Francis Oakley an English clergyman who became a convert to the Roman Catholic Church published the English lyrics, although he had translated the Latin text eleven years earlier. Oakley's original text started with a more rigid phrasing, Ye faithful, approach ye. Edeste Videlis has also been referred to as the Portuguese hymn because it was believed for a time to have been first sung by the famous choir of the Portuguese chapel in London. This would not have been an unlikely scenario, as Wade was known to have corresponded with prominent Catholic musicians of the foreign embassy chapels there, including Thomas Arne, a highly respected English composer. Although an integral part of the modern Christmas music repertoire, the beauty of Edeste Fidelis is the preservation of its ancient lyrical moorings.
That was Edeste Fidelis by the Vienna Boys Choir and the London Symphony Orchestra. The next carol will be about the angels and their glorious realm. See you next time, everyone. <laughs>